A great, truly surprising cameo can help take a film to new heights, like with Bill Murray's incredible scene in Zombieland or Glenn Close playing the pirate Gutless in Steven Spielberg's Hook. On both occasions, though, the actors were credited, but it gets you thinking. There must have been tons of actors who shunned the spotlight in order to hide their cameos in films, right? Well, indeed there are, and here's five of them. Talk about a brilliant segue, eh? With this in mind, I'm Jules of WhatCulture.com, and these are five actors who pretended they weren't in movies. Number five, Dick Van Dyke, Mary Poppins. Yes, everyone knows that Dick Van Dyke is in Mary Poppins as the one-man band slash chimney sweep slash pavement artist slash kite seller, but ridiculous Cockney accent and all. But what isn't so obvious is that he was actually in there twice in two roles in the movie. Van Dyke also appears as the banker Mr. Dawes Sr., which, when you know it, is actually quite obvious just by looking at him. But Van Dyke hid his appearance not only by aging up and playing the white-haired bearded old crank, but by going by the name Navkid Keed in the credits. Which, of course, is an anagram of, and say it with me, kids, no please, Vicar Robinson, I don't want that put in me. I'm kidding, Dick Van Dyke. To make things even better, Van Dyke is returning for Mary Poppins Returns, where he'll play Mr. Dawes Jr. If only they could have gotten Navkid Keed back to, eh? Yeah. Number 4. Keanu Reeves Freaked Freaked is, well, let's just say it's a very early 90s film and you shouldn't really be bothered by it except for the fact that it contains a Keanu Reeves appearance. The movie centers on Ricky, who thanks to the movie's bizarre events is turned into a freak and put on display at a theme park sideshow where he's the new star attraction outside of the black hole of Calcutta attraction, aka your mum's vagina, there's my one per list. Before his arrival, though, there was already a top dog at the show, Ortiz the Dog Boy, who becomes Ricky's rival. What wasn't discovered no thanks to it being uncredited in the role, was the fact that it was none other than Keanu Reeves under the fur. Not that he'd exactly be howling at the moon to let people know about this rather odd film. Number 3. Tilda Swinton, Suspiria The Suspiria remake that's coming out this year already looks like it'll be a great movie, and part of that comes from the impressive cast that's been assembled, which includes Dakota Johnson, Tilda Swinton, Maya Goth, Chloe Grace Mortez, and Lutz Ebersdorf. Wait, who the hell was the last one? Well, IMDB will tell you that Ebersdorf, who is playing Dr. Joseph, is an 82-year-old who fled Nazi Germany in 1938, co-founded the experimental theatre group Pjefka Verses in 1957, made a number of short films which are now unfortunately lost, and eventually gave up the stage to study psychoanalysis, becoming an expert in mother-daughter relationships before being approached by the director to make his movie debut in Suspiria. Phew, bloody hell. It's also been pointed out that he's extremely private, hence why he isn't doing any interviews. But the real twist is that it's just Tilda Swinton, who was spotted on set in prosthetics wearing the hat and coat. Need further convincing, his full name is Lutz Ishmael Ebersdorf, or to give his initials, lie. Number 2. Matt Damon, Deadpool 2 From chasing Amy to Eurotrip, Thor Ragnarok, and many others in between, there's apparently nothing Matt Damon loves more than popping the boys with a brief cameo in movies big and small. He usually is quite easy to spot, with the camera lingering on him for just enough to be a nudge-nudge-wink-wink-look-who-it-is moment, but that wasn't the case with Deadpool 2. Indeed, until recently, most people hadn't even realized that he was in the movie. Damon, who was credited for the movie as Dickie Greenleaf, plays one of the redneck brothers who has a discussion about toilet paper with cable. On the movie's Blu-ray release, one of the writers mentions, so we thought, well, what calibre actor would we need to do a scene where two rednecks talk about wiping themselves after spending some time in the toilet? Of course, you have to have somebody Oscar calibre doing that bit. Matt said that he was very receptive, so Ryan ended up sending him the pages. Matt called back and said, I'm in. And number one, Gary Oldman in Hannibal. Gary Oldman is no stranger to changing his appearance for a movie, which led to his Oscar for Darkest Hour, but the makeup went above and beyond for Ridley Scott's Hannibal. Playing the role of Mason Verger, a wealthy child molester and the only surviving victim of Hannibal Lecter who was left horribly disfigured by their encounter, Oldman wasn't the first choice for the part, but landed it after Christopher Reeve turned it down. Oldman initially wanted higher billing on the movie and briefly left the project after being told that it wasn't possible. Eventually, though, he agreed to do it uncredited, with Oldman saying it allowed him to do it anonymously, as well as being completely unrecognizable. 